the Rhine. Rises as a small stream above Lake Toma. Thirty seven miles downstream, it meanders through a narrow gorge. I start my journey in Versum. Along with me, my folding kayak, a toothbrush, and hardly any canoe experience. What awaits me? How far can I go in 21 days? With origami folding techniques, the box transforms into a 16 feet kayak. Let's go! The water is wilder than expected. Already in the first few meters, I start to sweat. Reichenau, where the Vorderin meets the Hinterrhein. I circumvent the first dam in the military area by public transport. A cable excavator blocks the way. I wait for the moment when it emerges from the water and pass swiftly. From a trickle to a stream, from a river to a current. The Rhine becomes bigger and calmer. I hear a rumble. A barrage. The water turns white again and is strewn with stones. Oru goes. I do not. Fearful that the kayak will float away without me, I attach it to my life vest. The Landcourt River flows into Landcourt. I continue to Bad Ragas. It's hot. Twenty-eight Swiss francs for a few square meters of tent space but the pool is included. A strong thunderstorm covers the night. It takes time for the tent to dry. The strong wind helps. I make good progress. The heavy rain during the night brings water into the canal. Just before the three country corner, Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, the next dam follows. I try the leash tactic again, but it didn't work this time.
the bright sun is followed by dark clouds over the mountains. The weather forecast confirms my fears. I slip under a bridge and wait for the end of the storm. Several times, I stop under bridges and wait. At the next try point of the same countries. I decide to stay like the rain. I spend the night under the bridge. The weather remains unsettled. But the Rhine carries me mile by mile. With just a few paddle strokes. Right at St. Margrethen, the clouds disappear. I switch from the new Rhine Canal to the old Rhine and thus save 4 miles of travel on Lake Constance. The shores are overgrown. The course is idyllic and untouched by man lined with grey herons. What's missing are crocodiles and currents. With only a 9 feet drop over 7 miles. I soon reach the level of Lake Constance. Exhausted. But driven by the beauty. I paddle to Rian Spitz. The first 60 miles are done. I reach Lake Constance. And it is big. Very big. Time for a cool down. And another one. I realize why it's called Ground Lake. In Constance, I start from zero again. Here begins the official count of the Rhine. And I'm no longer alone in the boat. Tanya helps with paddling for a few days. We paddle on Unterzee to the island of Reichenau, past Steckborn and from there, we continue without Yammer to Mammern. At Stein am Rhine, we get a cool Pepsi and an ice cream.
The lake narrows again into a river. Beautiful sandy beaches adorn the banks. Mostly private, but a kind man allows us to spend the night on his section. It would be possible. But we decide to portage the Rhine Falls. Shortly below, the canoe continues without the wheels. We comfortably cross the weir at Rienau. We spend the night on the picturesque peninsula, wild camping hoping to survive. Shortly after the confluence of the tour, Tanya leaves the boat. I continue alone. Downstream. The term river is incorrect here. Reservoir after reservoir. Power plant after power plant. Sometimes by cart, sometimes by elevator, sometimes by carrying. The means of assistance steadily deteriorate. A struggle. Another dam. Exit. Unload luggage. Look for cart. Insert coin. Run back. Loading canoe. Bypass. Load luggage. Bring back cart. And then all over again. Shortly before Koblenz I am surprised by a rapid. On the German side I find in the tall reeds in addition to nudists also a cozy place to sleep right at the water. The kingfisher gets fish me risotto. Good night. The Are River, the Rus and Limot flow into the Rhine which is now becoming a mighty stream. Thousands of liters evaporate every second over the tallest Zurich building in Lipstadt. A stream produces electricity. Power plant to power plant. Zurich becomes Aargau. The Rhine narrows at the cozy Laufenberg. Lunch break. A 
another power plant follows. Something different. In Merg I find a nature campsite, completely without cars and campers. But with two trees, for the hammock, other Rhine travelers and a canoe slide. The next appointment is coming up. At 10.30 in Stein Seckingen. But before, another power plant. Simon helps for two days while paddling to Basel. And when portaging the power plants. We'll try the next morning like the big ones with the sluice. But kayaks. Niet. From the most beautiful place in Switzerland. It's a stone's throw to Basel. Simon leaves me again. And I Switzerland. From here I share the river with the big ships. The dreaded Eisteiner thresholds are coming up. I visit them and sleep on them one night. Whether I should drive or portage the canoe. I go. The Rhine meanders now next to the canal for the big ships on the France-Germany border northwards. Untouched and uninhabited. Picturesque those clouds and magical this calm. Just a crackle in the air. Can I make it to the next bridge? Struck by lightning on the water or killed by the tree on the shore? The storm was strong. I was lucky. Numerous trees collapsed. The canal and the Rhine become one again. 
the weather remains mixed. I use the strong tailwind. But only for entertainment. After only 16 kilometers the next thunderstorm comes up. I find shelter under a big tree and spend the afternoon waiting there. The radar promises rain until the next morning. I set up the tent during a short dry break and lie early on the X. At the next junction Rhine or Canal I'll let the canoe decide. The current takes me into the canal. Locks are not possible for kayaks. So I have to portage half a mile. Why am I even doing this? Where is my goal? Is this vacation? The weather is still rainy. I paddle somewhere between Basel and Strasbourg. It's still a long way to Rotterdam. Is this the end? For 2 euros and 50 cents I take the bus to Strasbourg. It doesn't feel like the end so I take the train and go to Mainz. I'm taking a day off. Laundry back up. Then it goes on. At kilometer 500 I drive to the legendary Rhine Valley. The many castles and a pack of chips give me motivation again. And the Rhine is a river again. Only the rain remains. Mile after mile, a sign every hundred meters. A castle in every curve. Cormorants as far as the eye can see. Near Trek Tingshausen I span my tent and meet other canoe travelers. A new day. Finally sun again. Castles, 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 castles.
castles. Ships. Nice landscapes. At kilometer 555. The famous Lorelei Rock. I take advantage of the nice weather and paddle the whole valley. The next day it rains again. My last day on the river in the rain. In my mind he would be different. It's not far to Koblenz. A few sunny rays shine upon arrival. 500 kilometers. From the Rhine Valley through the Rhine Valley. Now, it feels like the end. <laughs>